Hey, what's up everybody? Um, today I'm gonna give you guys a review of this My Sister's Dell Inspiron 153520 and I'm gonna go over some of the problems it has and <clears throat> I'll go from there. Let's get started. So we have let's go over some specs first actually. So we got a 15.6 inch high definition display, not a touch screen. Just your average display with the resolution of 1366 by 768 with Intel's HD graphics 3000 integrated GPUs. Got it in midnight black. I think that's what they call it. Got one year warranty, Windows 10. And if you uh, purchase this, you'll get it Windows 8.1, but it is upgradable to Windows 10. So, yeah. So, it has a 5 gig 5 gigabyte heart damn I can never speak it's got a 500 gigabyte Western digital hard drive uh, with the uh, running at 5200 RPM let's see what else I can think of I don't know what else to think of but I'll let you know well it actually has two USB ports two USB two ports one SD card slot HDMI VGA all that good stuff let's take a look around so here's the front uh, let's see here's the side you guys can see that well probably not fan all right Here's the back. And the other side. The DVD. Well, it's actually got three USB 2 ports. So, that's a fail. Ha ha. Let's open this up. Alright. So, yeah, it's running Windows 10. But, people who have this model, yes, including my sister. How many of you guys say have many problems with this? Alright, let's go over some of the problems, shall we? Alright, you guys can see the display is running normal. But, 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 but. The display will gray out. And how many of you guys have an issue with this? It's a really big, really, really big issue. Dell needs to get this fixed. This is why the product is unavailable right now because it's got some negative feedback on it many people do not like this and um the Wi-Fi adapter it stops working so every time it stops working I use my small little USB Wi-Fi dongle I left somewhere I don't know what the hell I did with it but yeah so the screen Blacks out, not the blacks out, but you know, crap, what happened? Well, my phone went upside down for a second, fail, but yeah, so the display blacks, uh, grays out, the Wi Fi adapter stops working. There's another problem I have with it the mouse pad, the mouse pad does not read my finger clearly when I'm doing with two fingers or three. So that's actually a problem. That's another problem, actually. Though this trackpad, I would not recommend. I mean, overall, build quality on it is amazing. Intel Core i3 processor. Yeah. I mean, everything on it looks nice, but just those three problems with it, man. Oh, yeah, another problem is this HDMI. This HDMI cord is not mainly highly maintained because like you have to lift up the HDMI cord for it to show a picture on the television which is a problem however mine right here you guys know my good Viva look I actually rearranged my desk so it's not at that wall again you fucking T-Mobile booster why and I got Oh shit, my ambient lighting. And I got ambient lighting under my desk, so I rearranged my area a little bit. About a week ago, I rearranged. I was going to make a video on it. And I got rid of the Genesis. It's not down here anymore. I moved it near the exercise equipment. 
So I just put this here for my feet to rest and I got a keyboard and mouse for this monitor right here, which my computer is currently connected to, but y'all know. So I got these Sylvania speakers. I got one right there. One is on top of the fridge over there in the corner. One's right here. One's right behind it. And one's by my bed. Let's get a look. So there it is. But yeah, I'll go over that later in the video. I'll show you what I did. But yeah, so here's the computer. I mean, it runs slow because I'm in the basement. Our internet's not as good, but this is another problem with this computer. Popping up a lot of shit that we don't want to see. Right now it's working fine. Yeah, so that's another issue. What else? Oh yeah, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is another thing. I mean, I have this paired up with my tablet. Maybe if I want to use it for a remote. But Bluetooth does not just, just doesn't work. Bluetooth on here is no good. So Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, screen, they're all basically crash problems with this computer. And um, overall, performance on this device is very excellent. It looks very nice for this price range, but I don't know why it's unavailable. I mean, for something cheap, I think just Dell decided to use cheap shit for this laptop instead of good things, but I guess they decided they want to go cheap. Does this, it looks bent. Does it look bent? Like, it looks bent. Why is that? Probably a production issue. But yeah, Dell did an amazing job, but with hardware... Not even a chance. Like, display adapter, Wi-Fi adapter, not a chance would that make it in for upgrade or anything. So, those, pro those few problems need to be fixed. I mean, my sister really likes the computer. She really does. But with the problems, though, really? Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this, Dell? I mean, this is a really good product. Many people have this product. They say they recommend it, but for the issues, I mean, I like it. I mean, my Asus Book, I never had a problem with this except for the screen. But I actually do have a problem, which is my webcam, which has been disconnected from the motherboard, which I will have to reconnect. But seriously, though. Either you do something about this, or we're not going to buy a product like this again. I mean, your products are kick-ass, but for this product, which is highly messed up, I mean, it, you guys did a great job in manufacturing it. I'm starting to think that this computer looks better. It's just it's my phone picking it up. But yeah, everything on it looks nice. You guys can hear. On it, yeah. So everything on it works really nice. So that's a few problems. I do have a Wi-Fi adapter in case this thing crashes again. So yeah. I mean everything on it works flawless. I'll probably discuss some more problems in the future. If there are any that are persisting, I'll go over that. So yeah. But there you go. Here's a little type of vid for the Dell Interferon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good day. And I'll give you guys a review of my little setup tomorrow or so. See ya.